Scientists are calling a new blood test that may detect dementia a game changer. The study, published in Nature Medicine, claims dementia was predicted with surprising accuracy up to three years before symptoms developed. Although it's still years away from being available in your doctor's office, the test has the potential for developing treatment for Alzheimer's in the early stages. Here's Loren McNabb. Sometimes I forget the words. He is well aware he is not the man he used to be. What did you have for breakfast this morning? I don't know. Ask him what the Boston Bruins did 35 years ago, he'll tell you. But at least now he knows why. It's After months of wondering and waiting, doctors were finally able to tell Tom Carter in 2012 he had dementia. It took about a year to get the diagnosis. Now researchers at Georgetown University Medical Center in Washington say they've come up with a relatively simple blood test that could eliminate that weight. After studying 525 patients over 70, they were able to identify 10 key molecules that appear to lead to dementia. That would then predict who would then go on in a two to three year period to develop cognitive impairment or Alzheimer's disease. With 90% accuracy. We need to be able to identify the causes of dementia at a point in time before people have symptoms. And this is a potentially huge step in moving in that direction not just for detection, but for possible treatment. This Winnipeg researcher believes most drugs developed to date have failed largely because they were not used at the earliest possible stage. By the time it manifests that we can say you have dementia, the disease has probably had its tentacles in your brain for many years, if not decades. The other thing is that Alzheimer's disease affects more women than men. And we're not sure exactly why that is. If knowledge is power, the 500 healthcare professionals at this dementia conference in Winnipeg say early diagnosis is key. It can be a case of let's do the right things in terms of having our legal and financial in order. But ask Tom and Kathy what they would have done with that knowledge, and the pair is split. What kind of conversations do you wish you had? Who I was, actually. Tom says he would have had better talks with his kids and grandkids, while Kathy already knows where this disease will take them. It's losing my best friend, losing my partner. The end clear, but if researchers are able to replicate this study, she also knows it could lead to new beginnings for others. Loren McNabb, Global News, Winnipeg.